to the vlog, guys. Yeah. Uh, I went to a doctor's office. What am I talking about? I'm cranky, guys. Sorry. Girl said, hi. Rap. All right, I'll see you the end of the day. session on Fall Like and Subscribe. Like and subscribe. another vlog and I sound like a frog is that right? <laughs> this is now 7 o'clock in the morning it is Sunday and I'm on my way to work um, as you know I work at a church Sundays are definitely a work day and I am the kids director but I'm on and I'm, but I'm also singing today I feel pretty underprepared, which I usually don't. <sighs> What's the word? Well, not word, but I usually am more prepared than I am today, and I don't feel as prepared because I was not feeling good Thursday and Friday, so um, I didn't rehearse as much as I should have. So that's stressing me out a tad bit. Uh, Mark's here. Yeah, we're in the car. And I was rehearsing for a bit, but we're almost there. And um, the reason why I wasn't feeling good, I I gotta start like saying stuff that's okay to say. Cause Portia tells me that sometimes, like with friends though, I'm too cryptic. <laughs> like she'll be like, Sasha, where are you going? I'm like, out. And she's like, out where to the store and she's like what store <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like sorry <clears throat> I'm just used to not telling my business like that but I um which I'm gonna talk about in this vlog that's why I'm vlogging today but um the reason why I wasn't feeling good was because I um was cramping um my time of the month is not the greatest it's the worst actually it's very painful uh i have fibroids and uh, i'm going to talk about that later on in today's video uh that's why it's the title i think something like that something about fibroids is the title mm -mm. but um oh it's raining or is that the trees it's raining, it's raining. okay big drops too. well let's get oh the lighting the li i'm so sorry y'all but it's, it is what it is it's seven o'clock in the morning it's kind of dark um, what was I saying? I guess sidetracked. Vibrates. Right. Oh, my, um, cycles are worse because I have fibroids. I believe that's the only main issue. There, There is speculation for other stuff. Um, for right now I just know it's fibroids and they're extremely painful. And this past, I feel like they're getting, I feel like they get worse. And then some time, like once in a blue moon, they're not terrible. They're still bad, but I can like get up. But like this past time, ooh, it's dark, dark. <clears throat> this past time, oh, I lost focus. Sorry for this, back. I'm just gonna wrap this up. But for this last time, it was really bad and I could not get up. Like I really couldn't move, I felt nauseous. I had like the worst pain. Um, and then Friday, it was better than yesterday, but I still felt pain. Um, today is much better because it's ending. Oh. Yeah. I forgot. Again. Anyways, we're going to talk about fibroids later on in this video. I, oh, I was saying I was just in a lot of pain. But um, we're here now. We're going to go inside. I'm going to take you along with me as much as I can. Say hi to everybody, possibly. I might give this to Mark so you can get some B-roll. YouTube husband. <sighs> my goodness. Okay, let me. Austin, did you watch my vlog? Mm -hmm. well, I never sent you the new logo. I was saving it for a special. I feel like you sent me white, but I didn't get black. Um, <clears throat> we're ready for you whenever. Coming. Are you recording right now? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got you got caught. Okay. No, I'm gonna watch it. 
Okay. I'm going to. I'm sure. just asking. Have you watched it? Yeah. Oh. But I will. So another one. Did you? Today. I'm in the floor. Did you watch it? <laughs> another one. Wow. <laughs> we also None of you. them have watched it. We on all the support keys. you. Quincy on the keys. Hey, yo. I got to go sound check. Hit up Come Simply recorded. Sasha. Hit up Simply Sasha. Hit the like button. Simply subscribe. Sasha, what? Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Making a big entrance. guys we just had our meeting usually we have a like um what is it called what is it called what is it called our meeting we did sound check and then we do a, like a morning meeting that's britney she's sound checking right now people do a devotion right Wait, wait, allow me. Okay. That's the Sierra. That's the Sierra. It was a good game, though. It was a very good game. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Stay in the present. That's good. <laughs> Hello, guys. Mark thought I should record the traffic. We are stuck in traffic one mile from our exit. And it's saying it's like a 20 minute wait right now. First, it was 30 minutes. Then it went down to 15. Now it's back to 20. Here, I'll show you guys. Like, we're not moving. Um, yeah, I was going to, I guess I could kind of talk to you guys a little bit about, um, the fibroids right now. I had notes. Let me see if I can look them up really quick. Okay, found my notes. So, I'm going to start out by telling you guys. Um, but, okay, what fibroids are if you don't know? So fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop in a woman's uterus. Um, they're usually, for the most part, non-cancerous. Uh, so 
yeah they're just a gross um they're not cysts either it's different usually they don't um have like any threat to your body but they do cause they can cause and sometimes do cause pain um discomfort uh they can cause your belly to look big kind of like if like you're a couple months pregnant if they grow to a certain size they can also have um an effect on like you getting pregnant um so it's a couple it's quite a bit that uh they do to your body um i found out i had fibroids i think um a little bit before we got married maybe maybe like 2018 19 um so how i found out i found out when i went to a doctor's appointment one day and i was supposed to see a woman doctor which they're friends of the family where i used to go and I was supposed to see her, but she, my mom scheduled this appointment for me. And yes, my mom scheduled my appointment. I don't care. Um, back then. And she scheduled it for the lady's dad. And so I went to see him. And when he checked me, it was like like super quick, by the way. Because he's like he's been doing it for years. He's de He delivered to my brother. Anyways. But... He literally checked me two seconds and he was like, oh, I feel something like maybe a fibroid. And I was like, what the heck? And he was like, nothing to be alarmed about. It's probably a fibroid. Probably have to get you back in here to get it checked. He told me not to worry about it. So back then I wasn't too much of a warrior like I am these days. So I didn't worry about it. Um, and I wasn't feeling like pain or anything from it. So I just went about my day. And then I had got scheduled um, an ultrasound to get it looked at. And when she checked it, she said there it was very small. I had one. She said it was super small, nothing to write home to mom about. Um, <laughs> what? But yeah, there it was very small, so it was nothing to worry about. Fast forward a couple years, I think it was maybe two years ago. Was it two years ago and a year and a half ago? I started complaining of pain like it was painful maybe like a year and a half ago the pain like my period pain started becoming very like bad and I was a person that never really got period pains like that especially when I was like in high school if it got too bad I would take medicine but sometimes I tried not to because I don't like taking pain pills but yeah so a year and a half ago they started getting really bad where like it hurts to like get up off the couch there's like a pain in the pit of my stomach where my uterus is which i can't explain it's hard to explain but it just feels like something heavy and when you get up it really hurts and it's uncomfortable and then the pain on top of that is really really bad and hurts really bad and for the past i think maybe year six months to a year it's gotten significantly worse because i be wow what kind of what language what what because i be because I, be, I wake up in the middle of the night you be waking up in the night so yeah i'll be, be waking up that's so slang talking right now um i wake up in the middle of the night yelling right babe yep. screaming or yelling in pain and it wakes me up out of my sleep and poor mark it kind of wakes him up and i feel so bad because he has to work um, but he's so sweet and he helps me, um, uh, most of the time get pain medicine and stuff if I can't get up. There's, like, several treatments for it. I'm trying to be on that journey now of finding treatment. I've just been taking pain medicine because my last gynecologist told me, like, if I could just deal with it and not have surgery at the moment, um, and take care of it with, like, pain medicine, then, you know, go that route for now because I do want to have kids um, sometime I can't be saying stuff on here because people who watch this begin too excited <laughs> I do want to have kids at some point so I was trying not to do surgery or anything like that but I decided to get a second opinion so I went to a new doctor but she has to do she has to recheck me obviously because she don't know what the fibers look like or how big they are or if they have grown so 
yeah i was gonna do that but it ended up being like a lot of money and i have to double check if that's the correct amount of money just to make sure that's what it is and it's not extra stuff added on because i don't remember ever paying that much for an ultrasound but you know we're in inflation times everything has gone up so it could be it's a little stressful and overwhelming too it kind of makes me sad sometimes because i just i kind of just dread my cycle every month because it just hurts and this month i feel like was the worst um but this time i just i literally couldn't get up. i couldn't move it was really bad and i felt and i'm feeling nauseous on top of that with it was just mm, it was bad but yeah let me know if you have fibroids or you struggle with fibroids too if you understand the pain that i'm going through let me know in the comments let me know i'm not by myself and i just wanted to talk about it because i don't see it being talked about unless i look for it or look it up so and when i do talk about it sometimes people know what i'm talking about but anyways the pain is just terrible and i don't want to go through this pain anymore that's my ted talk on my fibroid situation <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun editing this because i know i was all over the place slash hopefully i made sense or got some kind of information out there but yeah fibroids are no fun i'm i'm really grateful though that they're non-cancerous um it just sucks to deal with it pain wise during my cycle <laughs> okay guys but yeah that's that i'm going to um <laughs> i'm gonna go i'll talk to you guys later on to we're going to the beach with um some girlies so i'm gonna eat i'm gonna get some food in me and yeah we'll talk soon bye Hey guys so i'm back here to end the vlog thank you guys so so much for spending the day with me i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog uh i know it might have seemed a little chaotic or all over the place but hey that's real life that's my life and that's sometimes my days are like that maybe a lot of the days mm, not a good lie but yeah thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and join the family the 414 family is free thank you guys so so much for the love on my video my last video um my first video back thank you guys so so much if you haven't watched that go watch it it'll be linked or you could just go to my page and when you subscribe then you can click that video to watch it next but yeah let me know what else you guys want to see i think my next vlog will be uh me vlogging the young adult ministry at my church like a day in a life type of thing getting ready for that and yeah more to come guys thank you again and i'll see you guys in the next video mm, whoops i almost messed it up no it's dang it what's my sign off thing oh mwah, this is <laughs>